everyone! In today's video we're going to be doing some mail art. Um, all the pieces that I'm showing you right now I actually got in a letter from one of my newer pen pals and all of the pieces just coordinated so well. Um, I just immediately saw that I could create something um, with these pieces so that's exactly what I did. Instead of putting it away in my stash I just sat down immediately with it and decided to create some envelopes so that I wouldn't have to worry about it after I've written a, an, or a letter. I could just grab an envelope, shove the letter in there with some goodies and be good to go. Um, it takes some of the pressure away, I guess, when you're writing and having to send mail as frequently as I do. So um, there were two pieces of background paper, so I just grabbed one, it didn't matter which, and that doily because they're pretty dainty and I did not want it to get lost, ripped, or damaged in any way so I just stuck that down and then I found this bird I really liked the bird but I didn't have any other bird things to kind of go with it honestly it looks good just the way it is but I found the ladybug thing and the way that it was cut fit perfectly into the corner of this envelope and I just decided to just roll with that and let that kind of carry the theme of this envelope which was going to be bugs and butterflies and all that because I did have a lot of those things so I'm looking through to see if I can find any other of the bug type things and I found this bug sticker and this second butterfly that was a little bit smaller and fit into that corner a little bit easier and I've kind of got an idea of the layout that I like. I'm liking it so far so I'm just going to start gluing things down. So I'm gluing down this really cool, I, I want to I wanna say it's like an old like phone book? I don't, I don't know. Um, but it was really cool nonetheless. So. I glued it down as my background piece and that's what we're going to be doing for the next minute or so. Um, I rearranged my office recently, actually this past weekend, and my window, my desk is not up against my window anymore. It's actually to the side of it. That's why I'm generating a pretty awesome shadow right now. Um, I'm going to try to figure that out. Maybe I'll get a light or something. I don't know if it doesn't bother you all that bad. It is the afternoon, so the sun is coming in um, pretty far west of me um, in this angle. So maybe I could start filming earlier or maybe once summer comes, it won't be quite as dramatic of a shadow. But anyway, if it bothers you, I'm sorry. If it doesn't, I hope you still enjoy the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gluing that doily down. And I didn't want to put glue in between the holes. Um, just because that glue, those those planner um, glue pens from Prima, they're really tacky. It's almost like a hybrid of a hot glue gun and um, a glue stick and tape runner and the red sticky tape. It's amazing, um, but it almost never dries if it's like in between a hole or something. Anyway, so I just didn't even put it in between the holes and I'm going to pray that it doesn't get ripped off in the mail. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just stuck down that bug thing. The label, I didn't get it in the exact place that I wanted it to, but in the end, I'm calling it good. I stuck that butterfly down and I'm just gonna move on. I'm not gonna harp on it. I'm not gonna let it weigh me down. I'm just gonna get it done. So I've got this music sheet now and I'm coming back to the bird. <laughs> I just love that bird so much and I wanna make him work. And he fit on that envelope perfectly, but when I looked at everything um, to the side of me, I saw that I did have a lot of butterflies. So I decided to just go ahead and do a butterfly type thing. So I know I need a label, so I'm just going to throw that down. I know that circle butterfly thing is pretty huge, so I want to put that on the corner to kind of trim it down a little bit to take some of the size away. Um, and then I've got this smaller butterfly circle that I wasn't going to use, but I just want to, I want to, not that I want to get rid of it, I just don't want to hoard it. So I'm just going to stick it down <laughs> so I don't put it in my stash and hoard it forever and ever and ever. Um, and then I've got these butterfly um, stickers. I'm pretty sure that the butterfly things, the two circle labels on your left and the strip stickers on your right, I'm pretty sure those are from Pep and Press. Um, so if you're wondering what that brand is, I th I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I'm using Tape Runner now because that glue pen kind of puttered out on me and I knew it wouldn't uh, carry me all the way through the um, envelope. So I just grabbed my Tape Runner and just went with that. And I'm gonna grab a strip of this um, butterfly print and just slide it down the side right there. And I'm not gonna cut it yet because I know I have to cut this big circle, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna throw that big circle down, throw the little circle down, 
tape my label down and I think I have one more butterfly that I'm going to put down and I, that's it that's I'm that's all there is to it and I think there's only a couple pieces left there were some vintage stamps that she sent with me or sent to me I'm gonna hoard those <laughs> I won't even lie uh, because they're from Spain and apparently um, stamps in Spain are very rare um, and they're hard to come across so I'm gonna hoard those forever I think so um, yeah, so right now I'm trimming it. I'm going to grab my scissors and trim the excess off of all of this. And I'm going to be good to go. I'm going to look through the pile one more time to make sure there isn't anything extra I want to put down. But I'm fine with it. It's simple. It's pretty. All I got to do now is write the address in there. Put a stamp or five, <laughs> depending on where in the world it's going. And, um, I'm going to be done. So I hope you like this video. Um, if you have any other requests, leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.